Hey, Vinyl Community and um, the YouTube community and the music community and the physical media society. I saw some discussion about uh, you know, was Vinyl Community too uh, restrictive or too unwelcoming to people that might uh, not deal strictly in vinyl. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. Uh, recently, I did the uh, 2018 vinyl tag, and I showed uh, my favorite album cover, which was uh, uh, Yes, Close to the Edge, and related to that showed some uh, Roger Dean art cards. So I got uh, a couple of favorable responses from that, so I thought I'd show the rest of the cards, even though they don't really lend themselves to this format because they're small and they're inside of uh, you know, plastic sleeves and I'm not willing to take out uh, all of the cards. It's a, a 90 card set. But to set a little chronology here, uh, you know, Roger Dean had, has been doing album covers for a long time. And I don't know which came first, uh, maybe Yes Albums they were in the early 70s but uh, 1975 uh, Roger Dean put out this book Views which covered album you know his work up to then some of its uh, architectural stuff that he did and some of its uh, artwork and then he did a follow-up to that book in uh, 84 uh, called uh, Magnetic Storm. And then 1993 is when uh, these art cards were published. Yeah. Uh, early 90s, mid 90s, that was a golden age for uh, putting out fantasy art cards. I've got a bunch of sets from around that time. Roger Dean that I'm going to show. Frank Frazetta did the three sets, I think. Uh, Ken Kelly, Richard Corbin. Other people. Uh, yeah. Anyone that was doing fantasy art, pretty much. They, they had enough to do uh, 90 images, and they put out a set. So I'm going to show these briefly and then you know elaborate on them, show some some of the related albums, and that should be about it. But uh, you know, this was 90 cards in this set, and then there were five uh, special metallic finish cards or something. They were designs that uh, Roger Dean had done, but you know they weren't really painted by him due to time constraints, but some of these are album covers, some of these are just uh, art related to albums. Some of these albums I'll show, some of them I don't have, but, you know, and all, not all the cards are oriented the same way. Some are horizontal, some are vertical, but you see uh, here, you see a Gentle Giant, down here, I think this is uh, Midnight Sun, which I think is a Danish band that I don't have. Uh, this is Gun over here. This is from one of the Yes albums. This is an early thing, like a stage show set up for all the equipment. The backs have uh, some more details and some other little drawings. But you get, you get the idea of that. Here's 
another one. Uh, looks like Uriah Heap down in the corner there. Budgie over in that corner. Uh, maybe that's Paladin there. Os Obisa. There and there. Uh, looks like another Budgie related one up there. Uriah Heap, Demons and Wizards, War of the Back, Virgin uh, label artwork. Uh, Badger. Green Slade there in the middle. like related to fragile by yes some other yes stuff uh, he did a uh, Roger Dean did about 205 album covers according to something I looked at and it seemed like approximately half of that was made up with uh, yes related and Asia related uh, artwork Some more. This looks like a relayer, maybe in the middle. Yes, album. Uh, Asia, top center. cover some of them are just uh, pieces of art details some of them his style changes a little like this uh, Metallic cat and uh, jellyfish. Usually he sticks pretty much to one style, but he deviates somewhat. Last one. And a little card to keep track of all the uh, different pieces in the set, little checklist. So that was the uh, art cards. So the, yeah, if you did the book, which has a lot of the same stuff in there, um, larger though, like uh, the Paladin, I think that's what it was, another album that I don't have.
then there's uh, a couple pages devoted to uh, Virgin Record label. Besides that book, he was involved with a bunch of uh, album cover albums. You know, not necessarily his artwork, but just album covers. Him and uh, Storm Thorgensen from uh, Man Behind Hypnosis co uh, artwork or studios. So this is album cover five. Album cover, album three. The second album cover album. And the sixth album cover album. And uh, you know, some albums. Well, albums and CDs that uh, he did work for. Um, I'll get rid of the CDs first, but uh, Bird Songs of the Mesozoic, the Iridium Controversy, sort of typical Roger Dean style. Uh, the Keith Tippett Group, dedicated to you, but you weren't listening. This is a little bit different style than he normally does. And uh, Rick Wakeman, Return to the Center of the Earth. And these albums in alphabetical order, 1971, Atomic Rooster, In Hearing Of. So this doesn't look like the typical uh, Roger Dean cover, but it's credited to him. Uh, don't know if he did the interior artwork. Likely that he did. Badger, one live badger. Nineteen seventy three. Um, Budgie, this one oh, there it is. Nineteen seventy three Budgie Squawk Gentle Giant Octopus. This one uh, should be a gatefold, but mine is not, if, if it was put out that way. On the later day Vertigo label. Uh, Green Slade, Bedside Manners are extra. Seventy-three, busy year for him. Green Slade, Let's 
self-titled, uh, also 73. And uh, Gun, the uh, Gervitz brothers, when they were known as the Curtis brothers. So this is a one, an atypical type Roger D, or before his style had uh, evolved into the later day, like Yes cover albums. Yes, album covers. So. I think this is around 69. Steve Howe Beginnings. So he did Yes Related Projects too. Steve Howe album. Seventy nine. Osibisa. This was shown in uh, a Terry Visconti uh, related video, 71. The other OCBSA album. Also 71. Uh, Uriah Heap, Demons and Wizards. Seventy-two, uh, Magician's Birthday, seventy-three, seventy-two also, and uh, yes, Fragile. Seventy two close to the edge. Seventy two. Yes, songs. Seventy three. sorts of uh, artwork in here. Tales from topographic oceans. Seventy-three relayer. Seventy-four. Four drama I think this is seven uh, this is nineteen eighty and finally Anderson Bruford Wakeman and Howe. Eighty-nine. Uh, I don't have any Asia albums, but uh, you, know, you can see his distinctive style there too. So there you've got a uh, you know, brief overview of uh, Roger Dean. So thanks everybody, and thanks for somebody suggesting that I do this. So see you later.